The hectic Game 4 of the Minnesota Timberwolves vs Denver Nuggets series just finished, and honestly, it was a pretty crazy one. Between the Nuggets having a huge lead the entire time, to Anthony Edwards dropping 44 and still losing, the game was absolutely crazy, and at this point, it might just seem like the team who doesn't have home court advantage will win, because in this series, the away teams have won every single game. Kinda crazy, because that hasn't happened in a playoff series since 2003. Yeah, that's a real stat by the way. Tonight, Aaron Gordon had a night to remember because he dropped 27 points on 91% shooting, along with 3 out of 3 from the free throw line. That's a 101% true shooting percentage, which is one of the best that I've seen in a very, very long time. To add on to that, Jokic dropped 35, 7, and 7, a pretty casual stat line for him, but on the Wolves side of things, Anthony Edwards just had another career playoff high, dropping 44 points in a loss. It honestly seems like the Denver Nuggets are kind of unbeatable right now. I mean, the Wolves just got the best game of their entire season from Anthony Edwards. Rudy Gobert shot efficiently, grabbed 14 boards, Nas Reed shot 91% from the field, and they still lost. Honestly, it doesn't seem like there's much that any team can do at this point in the series. The Nuggets had exceptional, exceptional three-point shooting tonight, going 45% from beyond the arc. But you know what? The Wolves' three-point shooting wasn't even that bad, going 40% from beyond the arc. Tonight, the story of it, was really just runs, because once the Nuggets got in their groove, the Wolves just couldn't, couldn't stop them. They had a 14-2 run early in the first quarter, which really dictated the tempo of the game, and then right out of that first quarter to second quarter break, they went on another crazy 12-2 run, bringing the lead up to 18. Then, to end the second quarter, they went on an 8-0 run, including an absolutely absurd half quarter from Jamal Murray, which really, it was almost the dagger, even though it didn't pass halftime yet. It was crazy, because Ant vs. Jokic is basically the new LeBron vs. Curry. I mean, the Nuggets got absolutely killed on the rebounding battle, because the Timberwolves out-rebounded them 42-31. to Frankly, the Timberwolves might have just played an all-around better game. They had more fast break points, less turnovers, more second chance points, more steals, and just a few less blocks. But apart from that, the shots just didn't fall. And in this series, it seems like whoever is getting the most buckets is winning the game. Because right now, this series is really the best offensive team in the league, which is the Nuggets, versus the best defensive team in the league, which is the Timberwolves. I mean, the Timberwolves' defense is literally borderline perfect. They have switches, they have those, they go perfectly under all the screens, they guard great in the fast break, but honestly, they just can't stop the best offense in the league, because great offense will always beat great defense. But honestly, if you look at everything else from this game, there wasn't really much. Jamal Murray had a basically normal night, dropping 19 points, 5 rebounds, and 8 assists on subpar shooting. Frankly, it was a boring game. The Nuggets were up the entire time by over 10 points, except for early in the 4th quarter when the Timberwolves were able to bring it within 8 with 440 left in the game. Anthony Edwards had a huge block on Christian Brown, which really just inspired a momentum shift, but it was too late. At this point, the Nuggets carry all the momentum in the series, and now they're going home to Mile High Arena in the altitude of Denver. I don't want to glaze too much, but hey, it seems like they might just be able to win the next game. And once they're up 3-2, 
Well, who knows what's going to happen. Maybe the Timberwolves storm back and take two more. I mean, Anthony Edwards is playing generationally well tonight. 44, or not tonight, in this entire playoff run, 44 points on 64% shooting along with 5 of 8 from beyond the arc is something that we've never seen before. I mean, sure, you'll have it a few times a season from a player. Yeah, Luka will drop 70, Luka will drop 40, he has the most 40-point games in the NBA, not in the playoffs. Anthony Edwards might be the biggest playoff riser that we've seen in a hot minute. He can't carry his team. He just can't. He's such a good player, but he's not good enough to carry the entire Timberwolves organization on his back. I mean, the only problem is that he's not that much of a playmaker. You have players like Jalen Brunson, who are phenomenal playmakers who can carry their team as long as some other people make shots. But Anthony Edwards doesn't pass the ball that much. He's going to get his buckets. He's more of a Kobe build than he is a Steph Curry build. I mean, this entire season, he's only averaging five assists per game, which is good for 47th in the league. He's literally behind the likes of, let, let, let's see, let, let me find someone ridiculous here. Um, he's behind Terry Rozier. He's behind Malcolm Brogdon. He's behind, heck, even Scoot Henderson is in front of him. He's just not that great of a playmaker. And that's a reason why he can't really carry his team to stardom. You've got to have players like Cat really show up on nights like this. And tonight, Carl Anthony Towns did not show out. He was one of the stinkiest parts of this entire game. It was extremely disappointing to watch as he only had 13 points on 29.8% shooting. Come on, you can't be doing that in a pretty big playoff game. Because if we're being totally honest, Carl Anthony Towns gets a good game, the Timberwolves go up 3-1, Nuggets aren't coming back down 3-1. But no, that just didn't happen. Another big story of this series is Nikola Jokic's three-point shooting, because he has been terribly, terribly inefficient recently. Tonight, he only shot one of five, which is pretty darn bad. And you know what is a bit crazy? Tonight was supposedly his playoff high, which doesn't really make much sense. Because you think of Jokic having, a, I mean, he doesn't score that much, but he'll drop, he'll drop 40 a few nights, he'll, he'll do well. But no, tonight was his career high in the playoffs. His former career high, 34 points. Tonight, he had 35. Kind of crazy to imagine that. But honestly, it's Jokic. He just does whatever he wants, and no one can stop him. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.